so this is the bearing spinning machine of science. And what we've got is got the motor, which hits to the worm gear, to that gear, steps down twice, spins this axle in the center, which the bearings are on, and then the outside of the bearings, the outer race is held in place by these red rods, which are squeezing the bearing. See from the bottom a little bit better. And they're fixed in place on this black piece. So when it's turned on, it spins the bearing really slowly. Um, and what it's going to have is it's going to have white lithium grease in one bearing, um, three in one oil in one bearing, and there's going to be nothing. This last bearing is going to be completely dry. And so this whole thing is going to be taken and submerged in water like that. Um, up to the top of the bearings and then it's going to sit in there until enough water evaporates where the bearings are out of the water so it could take maybe a whole week and then I'm going to open the bearings up and see what they look like on the inside I'm not going to have the motor running the whole time but it is going to be running for one or two days at least okay so before I pack these up um, with, with grease and, and ruin them again. I just want to point out really quickly, these are the three bearings that I revived that were completely seized with rust. And um, they actually ended up in, in pretty decent condition. They definitely still have some life left in them, um, which is pretty cool. Although I might use up that remaining <laughs> life in, with this experiment, but we'll see. So we've got the white lithium grease the three-in-one oil and nothing in this bearing. What we're trying to see is how much grease and oil will protect the bearings from rust and how, how well they'll keep water out. This one that has nothing on it still has shields, which is something that someone pointed out in the previous experiment is, you know, maybe the grease and oil didn't really help all that much and it was just the shields that were keeping, that was keeping the water out. What I'm expecting to see is that the white lithium grease will protect the bearing the best. That the oil will protect the surface of the bearings, but I expect it to wash out. So I don't expect there to be any oil left in the bearing except for what's clinging to the surface. And then this I expect to do pretty poorly, but not outrageously poorly because I do think that the stainless steel holds up um, a lot better than it's sometimes given credit for. So, here we go. This is an open-ended experiment. Don't know how long it's gonna take, but it ends when the water is below the bearings. Okay, so the motor was on for four days. The um, bearings were in water for, I believe, 10 days, and it's been drying for two days. So I think that's 12 days <laughs> since this experiment has started. So um, my labels are coming off, but in this one I have the... Uh, this is the bearing without anything. This is the bearing with three in, oil, three in one oil. And this is the bearing with white lithium grease. So let's take it apart and see what we can see. Here we go. Alright, so we can get a better look at them now. So here's the one. I don't have anything on it. It's not bound up, but you can hear it's not smooth at all. It's got um, lots of rust powder on the actual uh, rubber seal and lots of rust everywhere. Here's the one with the oil. It still spins, but it's kind of, I feel a little resistance. Um, the shields are mostly clean, 
and there's rust around the lower half where it was in the water the longest. These also are a lot harder to take off than they were to take on. Um, the white lithium grease one is got grease everywhere. There is rust on the outer race, but it is rust mixed with the grease. And um, I'm going to get grease all over myself because it's still completely covered. A lot of the grease worked its way out of bearing and just stuck everywhere. Okay, so there we go. There's the three bearings. So I put in a nice backdrop so you can see the colors a little bit better. So let's open this one first. This is in the bearing, it doesn't have anything inside it. Um, let's see, let me get my hand in here. This shield is coming off all right. It's a little stuck. Oops. There we go. I need to, I need to grab it with both hands here. Okay, All right, so there we are. Um, you can see it's got a decent amount of rust everywhere on the inside. Um, there's a little bit of sheen on the balls, um, but the cage is definitely rusty. Let's see, if I take the other shield off, I bet I can get a bunch of rust to actually fall out. There we go. So, um, so the shields themselves didn't seem to do very much to protect the bearings. Um, water just got right in there. And if I do this and spin it, there you can hear that. So, so that's what the uh, bearing looks like without anything inside of it. Put that one aside. Next we'll look at the bearing with the 3 in 1 oil, this one, and I bet I can just take the shield off. I have to grab it with both hands, oh maybe I can't, there we go. Look at that, look at how big of a difference that made. There is very, very little rust inside there. Um, you can see on this side here, it's very clean. There's only a tiny bit of surface rust on that side. You can kind of see it, especially in between the high spots of the cage. That is very good. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, even though most of the oil would have washed away, enough remained on the metal to protect it. So the balls um, still have a very clear sheen to them. So, that is very good. Um, let's take a look over here. Get the other side of the shield off. There we go. There we go. So that's the uh, bearing number two with three in one oil. So the last bearing is the white lithium grease right here. And this should just pop right off. And look at that, this grease is still everywhere, um, and it's completely coated the inside still. Take this opposite side off. Yeah, there's, I don't see any evidence of rust at all. I'll have to actually, I think, wash the bearing out so we can even see the metal. So I'll be right back. All right, there's the white lithium grease bearing. Um, I didn't scrub this or anything. All I did was wash it under really hot water so it would melt the grease out and then it would just flow away. And um, I have to say, there is no evidence of rust anywhere on the inside of the bearing. It is completely clean as far as I can tell. But, this 
is very nearly completely clean as well. That's after 10 days in water, four of which were spent spinning, four days spinning underwater. So I think what we can conclude from this is that if your bearings get rusty, then they just didn't have any lubrication in them in the first place. As long as you lubricate your bearings, it will keep the rust away even in very harsh conditions. So there we go. That's my conclusion. Longboard technology over and out.